I'm just so grateful to our creator that he let everything go so smoothly and so wonderfully for our first show. There's something magnificent that's happening in Israel. Instead of Judaism being a religion of individuals, we're becoming a nation again. And as one nation in the land of Israel, a Jewish voice can now go out to the entire world. A new movement is happening in Israel. A new Jewish music, a new Jewish culture, a new Jewish experience is here. And Tuesday Night Live in Jerusalem is meant to bring that truth and that Jewish experience to the world. TheLandOfIsrael.com presents Ari Abramowitz and Jeremy Gimpel. Live from the heart of Israel, welcome to Tuesday Night Live in Jerusalem. We've given the world enough diplomatic jargon. How about we start and give them a little bit of light? Shalom from Jerusalem. Over 50 episodes ago in January 2008, thelandofisrael.com launched the first Jerusalem-based live TV show, Tuesday Night Live in Jerusalem. Hosted by Ari Abramowitz and Jeremy Gimpel, Tuesday Night Live is filmed in front of a studio audience in one of Jerusalem's most historic theaters. Today, TNL is aired in over 24 million homes across North America. Tuesday nights in Jerusalem are never going to be the same again. The show features a variety of guests. Some talk, some teach, some preach, and some sing. But everyone uplifts, inspires, and shows the world a different side of Israel they wouldn't see on any other show on television. This is not going to happen again, so enjoy it while you can. Is it warm in here? Or am I, it's just that I'm the only one dressed for Poland in the 17th century. Jonathan is, as his name sounds, Yeho Natan, God's gift. Every loss and every hard situation has something hidden in it, something that is waiting to be born from it. As the people of Israel can have our voices heard, and the internet is a wonderful place to do it, the more we will be heard, and the more we're going to listen to ourselves and not listen to people who tell us that the only way forward is to go backward. The world media, which has been involved mainly in criticizing Israel for its war against Arab terror, had many positive words to say about the Israelis. These men and women were seen as angels by many of the locals and their professional counterparts from around the world. One unit has become legendary, the Israeli medical unit. At the end of the first day that we were there, by, uh, this was 12 hours of work in the, in, under, on the site of this university, eight people were pulled out alive. I was in four different governments, and twice I resigned. I was in four different prisons, and I never resigned. Baruch Hashem, we are the most irritating people in the world. <laughs> Well, the roots have grown deep and the limbs have grown strong, but the branches haven't broken. Leaves on the fall. It's a beautiful cold winter day here in Jerusalem. One of the highlights of Tuesday Night Live occurs on the streets of Israel when Ari and Jeremy travel the land and come back with funny, inspiring, emotional and insightful words from the Jews and the non-Jews they meet as they walk the streets of the Jewish state's capital. And now, Meet the Street with Ari and Jeremy. Eat the barakas of Jerusalem. 200 years of barakas. Barakas that are 200 years old. This is the most beautiful thing in the world. It's fresh, it's only 200 years. Normally you walk through the streets, you don't talk to everybody you see. <laughs> but here with Meet the Streets, we stop everybody, we ask them questions. Walk on this land, take this land, cultivate this land, produce it, do, do what you're supposed to do. Obey his commandments and be strong. Why on earth would you leave Los Angeles, risk your life to serve in the Israeli army? Are you out of your mind? My mom thinks so. Uh, Polish man, F from Poland. A Polish man? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Ha Hasidim. Do you think any Polish men are dressed up like an Ethiopian guy? Yeah. Uh, I hope so. I hope so too. Are you a settler? Um, not in the political sense. 
I don't know what that means. Are you a settler? I am living on the land in the hills of Yehuda presently. And behind the green line? Yes. You don't look like it. The socks be. and the sandals, there might be something there to settler-like behavior. But other than that, you look like a very normal guy that I'd meet in like a philosophy class in Hebrew University. Um, that's possible. Any religious paraphernalia to the Temple Mount, he's not allowed to bring a prayer book or a Bible. Let me show you what I mean. Okay. No. This? No. A little Torah. No? A Daniel and the Lion's Den baby DVD. No. A Talmud Bavli. No? A Tanakh. A Tanakh. No. Okay, wait. A, a prayer book. No? Okay. Wait. A mezuzah? No. Okay. A Barbara Streisand CD. No? She's Jewish. <laughs> All right, guys, what is the biggest problem facing the Jewish people today? Just pop them out, pop them out. Intermarriage. Intermarriage. Iran. Iran. Ignorance. Ignorance. What about people who are ignorant about the intermarriage problem we're facing in Iran? What the world needs to know about the Jewish people, or the Jewish people need to know about themselves, is that they're still a chosen people, which is not in a case of being better than everybody else, but being chosen to bring about peace and to bring about redemption in this world and to reveal Mashiach. Are you Jewish? No. Do you want to be Jewish? No. Please? <laughs> Still no. Uh, what I'm going to name my firstborn son, Dudu. Okay. Dudu. And my daughters, Moron and Osnat. Because they're not going to leave the land of Israel and go to them live in America with a name like that, no? There's beauty to that idea. I do want to state a few facts that you're never going to hear on CNN. What actually happened when the Jewish people started settling the lands of Judea, Samaria, and Gaza? The average Arab income tripled. So did their birth rate. The average Arab income in Gaza grew 20-fold. 2,500 factories were built. Seven universities were established. And the life expectancy almost doubled, jumping from 40 to 70. Are the settlements the problem? The settlements are the greatest thing that's ever happened in the Middle East. If there are religious leaders, spiritual leaders, educators, stand-up comedians, professors, all of the people that we thought had a Jewish message that the world needed to hear, we brought them on and gave them a platform to share that light with the world. The voice that's coming out of Israel to the world is one of a, a lot of secularism and pragmatism, and that's not really the voice of the Jewish people, and we wanted to share the beauty of the Jewish people with the whole world. Tuesday Night Live is now preparing for its next season and is calling all those who love Israel and the Jewish people and believe in bringing the truth of Israel to the world to join us on our mission and help us inspire the world in Gather the Exiles and empower the Jewish people.